let's solve the questions using the concept which we learnt earlier okay so here is your first question the pictogram shows the amount of money saved by four friends okay so here the pictogram is given okay so this is amount saved by four friends okay so there are four columns okay the first one is deepa second one is bharat third one is varma and the fourth one is kamal okay and they have also mentioned one more information that each rupee stands for rupee 9 okay so each symbol of this represent 9 rupees clear so the first one is okay now the question is the first question how much money did varma save okay question number 2 who saved the maximum come out okay question 3 how much money did kamal save did kamal save 
more than Varma. Okay. Question number four. Who along with Bharat saved 81 rupee all together. And the last question in this bar gram is how much money did Deepa and Bharat save all together. Okay. So now based on this diagram, pictogram, I have got these questions to solve. So the first one says how much money did Varma save? Now before that for our calculation to be made simpler, let us write the denomination value which each of these members have saved. So coming to the first one, so we will see how much has Deepa saved, then how much has Bharat saved, how much has Varma saved and how much has Kamal saved. Okay. So now we know that each rupee pictogram stands for 9 rupees. Okay. So the first one, if you notice here children, this is not drawn completely. So, which means that this is half of 9. Okay. So, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, which means Deepa has 9 into 4 plus 9 into half. The reason is because there is a half donation. Okay. So, we know that 9 into 4 is 36 plus and this half is nothing but 4.50. So, let us try to calculate. If I divide 9 by 2, so 9 fours are 8, 1, if I put a point then it becomes 5. Okay, so it becomes, it works out to how much? 40.50. So this is the amount which Deepa has. Coming to Bharat, 9, 18, 27, 36 and 45. So, it is easy for Bharat. So, Bharat has got 45 rupees with him. Okay. Coming to the next one that is Varma. So, again if you notice it is half. So, 1 and 2. So, which means it is 9 into 2 plus 9 into half. So, which is 18 plus 4.5. So, which is equal to 22.50. Okay. Coming to the last one that is Kamal, 9, 18, 27 and 36. So, Kamal has got 36 rupees with him. Okay, clear? So, now, now the first question says, how much money did Varma save? So, can you see here? How much children? Yes, so it is rupee 22.50. Got it? Now, who saved the maximum amount? So, can you see this table and tell me who has saved the maximum amount? Very good. It is Bharat. So, your answer is Bharat. Because he has saved an amount of rupees 45, right? Next question. How much money did Kamal save more than Varma? So, we know that Varma has got how much amount? 22.50. And how much has Kamal got? Kamal has got 36 rupees. So, if we just try to subtract, so here it becomes 0. 10 minus 5 is 5. It becomes 5. 5 minus 2, 3. And 3 minus 2, 1. So, which means Kamal has got 13 rupee 50 paise more than 
varma okay so my answer will be 13.50 Okay, now who along with Bharat saved eighty one rupees altogether? So how much amount did Bharat have? Bharat is having forty five rupees, right? And we have to find the total of eighty one rupees. So what is the option? Eighty one minus forty five, and whatever is the difference amount, that person will be the answer here. So eighty one minus forty five. So eleven minus five, six. Seven minus four, three. So who is having thirty-six rupees with them, children? Very good. It is Kamal. So the answer is Kamal, and he has a rupees of thirty-six rupees. So if Kamal and Bharat together they add their saving, it will pool to an amount of eighty-one rupees. Clear? The last question: How much money did Deepa? And Bharat save all together. So it's a simple addition, right? So how much did Deepa save? Forty point five zero. And how much amount did Bharat save? Forty five. So if we add together five and four plus four is eight. So which means they saved an amount of rupees eighty five and fifty. understood children so what is the first thing if we try to sort out one by one question it will take us more time to solve right so whenever you get such a question first try to simplify this table so once you simplify it the answers to these questions will be easy for you to identify clear have you understood this question shall we move to the next table now <laughs> 